Our most recent planting of summer squash is coming along just beautifully. These were sown about 10 days ago and are coming along real nicely now. Now I've just given them a quick watering because I'm going to be dusting them for squash bug and cucumber beetle control. Now the three varieties we have in here are Lemon Drop L, which is a summer yellow squash. We have Spineless Zucchini and also Early Prolific Straight Neck Summer Squash. And the trick with having good healthy summer squash is first, it's a good idea to think about a succession planting, putting in one and then a second planting, maybe about three or four weeks later, so you have nice healthy plants all through the summer. The next thing is plan for preventing cucumber beetle and squash bug damage in the garden. What we've done here is uh, wet the foliage down. I'll be dusting it with sabadilla dust and then covering over the garden with reme fabric. And this, this spun polyester fabric will screen out those insects and hopefully prevent some early damage. Of course, we'll have to remove it once the bees start, start working the flower blossoms in about two or three weeks. But for now, it'll give us some early protection, get the plants off to a good start. Now remember, sabadilla dust is comes in powder form. It stays best if the foliage is wet down some. It is a, a ground up material from the sabadilla lily, which grows in South America. And it's one of the few home garden pesticides we have found that is very effective on cucumber beetle and squash bugs. Remember, cucumber beetle chews on the foliage and transmits disease. Squash bug explodes its population overnight seemingly. So you need to start watching for those bronze eggs right now and crushing them and crushing any adults you find. Also it sucks on the foliage and the plants, no matter how much you water them, will not recover. So make sure that you plan to prevent damage from these two pests this summer. As I cover this over with the reme, I want to make one mention about the sabadilla dust. As with all pesticides, you need to use great caution. It is a lung irritant, and so it's a good idea to make sure that you don't breathe the vapors. If you have problems with things like that, it's a good idea to wear one of those disposable dust masks. And of course, make sure you wash your hands and wash your clothing when you're through dusting. And on a windy day like this, it's not the best time, but we generally tape in the afternoons, and that brings wind to still water. It'd be better to do it in the evening or early morning. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.